Hi guys, I'm Darusha and you're watching Darusha Couture TV. Here with the sit down video, as promised. It's quite nice to be sitting back down here in my studio, um, being able to do a proper video with you guys. Um, obviously, if you watched my last vlog, thank you so much to everybody who did and the overwhelming response and comments and just support to my entire family, especially to me and my mum, uh, Gillian, uh, who if you follow her on Instagram or you see her on my vlogs, we both are so incredibly appreciative and thank you from the bottom of our hearts. I have to get straight into this because I'm here with a haul and it is a collective haul. This was an all done in one go. It has been online shopping, one is a return and a few other bits and pieces to show you and stories along the way so let's get into it. I'm gonna start with Gucci today because that's how I'm feeling and what you know is going on in the world. We have three Gucci items to show today however I'm unsure of the ones that arrived last week which are in this box and I'm going to show you. I bought them online when they first released so there was a long long uh, back order for them they came in this box I showed you in my vlog when TNT arrived let me show you what they are so down inside the packaging like a hundred Gucci cards for some reason in all my online purchases okay so you get two dust bags and you can see down inside the shoe box. Oh, I know it is a matter of each to their own or however you want to take the ugly sneaker trend that is huge, huge right now throughout all of the design houses. Huge. And it's crazy how much... If one comes out with a design like Balenciaga's, the triple S's, that then, you know, each house kind of does like replicates a, a version of it, especially with the Speed Sock Sneakers by Balenciaga. Oh my gosh, those are just everywhere. These are the ladies Gucci Wrighton sneakers. They have just dropped in Australia, literally. This was back ordered for, I want to say, four months. And then they were pushed back and pushed back. The men's uh, sneaker dropped. Sorry, this is so heavy to hold. They're blowing out really badly. Uh, the men's sneaker dropped in store and online, but then the women's was held and didn't come in till now. Let me turn the lights down. It's just blowing out so much with all my lights. So here they are. They are the Wrighton. Uh, logo sneaker in the white. I think they also come in pink uh, But this is the white. I would call it a cream. It's an off-white. They kind of look a bit uh, I guess just like Definitely orthopedic shoes. These have not been approved by Will, my husband He has not seen them and that is because they are too big way too big. I purchased them in the size 40 because I thought I should size up. However, they're huge. I'm going to say they're not that heavy. I think the triple S's are a lot heavier as a bulky kind of sneaker. Uh, but they're great. They're, you know, look, it's an ugly sneaker trend. It's whatever you think. I'm really into designer sneakers at the moment. I get a lot of use out of sneakers and runners as it is. So to invest in, you know, uh, designer ones, why not? Because you get so much use, so it's great cost per wear. Uh, however, these don't fit. They are way too big. Uh, I don't know if they're a larger size fit, so therefore if you do want to get your hands on these size down, I can't tell you that. Maybe it's just that I should have been more true to size, which is 39, 39 and a half, rather than going for a 40. Um, but this is them. They are quite, <laughs> they are quite wide. So 
um, like slides that are quite wide. These are very similar like that. They are quite wide. Um, however, I like that these are these are actual like sneakers, almost like trainers, like runners. The way that they are molded are like runners. They're not like street sneakers, which is like the Aces. I call them street sneakers. So the Ace is like, um, you know, it's the mold of like uh, Adidas Stan Smith shoe, which is like a street sneaker really. So this is much more of like an actual like running shoe, not that you'd necessarily go running in your Gucci Ritens, but nevertheless, they are what I hauled the other day. I don't really know what which one's in which, but these two are next, and let's go with this guy. And this, oh, this is from the boutique, right? Oh, I'll tell you how much, that's what I should tell you. The Gucci Ritens retail in Australia for 1170 Australian dollars. And as I said, if you can find them online, that's really good. I think they are sold out. The women's ones are sold out. Okay, good. This was next. This item, which I will tell you the price. I grabbed this whilst, ooh, that's what I needed. Okay, I'm going in to Gucci. I've got to go into Bondi Junction to pick up my Ace sneakers in that vlog. If you did watch it, I said that they were being repaired or sent away for a request repair or an exchange. That was my second pair of Ace Pearls and Spike sneakers and they were just completely crunching on the side and they just looked really ugly. So I took them back and I just said, what can you do? And they were like, look, we'll send them away for a request and then you can come back and exchange them. So it was kind of a roundabout thing to do. However, I just followed the rules, I guess. While I was in there getting that set up and giving them my sneakers, I grabbed this little guy down inside this box with the ribbon. I couldn't pass it up and they go pretty quickly. I think they are online. I did check. I did love the idea of it in like the gemstone colors. Down inside we have the little pouch and the little item. Oh. My first, this is my first designer brooch. Truthfully, this is my first designer brooch. Yes, I have not bought a pin from a, you know, YSL or a Chanel pin or a vintage Chanel, nothing. This is the Gucci GG and crystals in silver brooch. And I just saw it there in the um, display cabinet and was like, yep, let's grab that at the same time. And the essay was really lovely. And I said, you don't have it in the gemstone colors. Like I thought it came in the green or the burgundy and she was like, no. So let's put it on this jacket. It's a bit of my military inspired jacket. How does that look? A bit wobbly? A little bit wobbly. It's nice to just sort of have it like glimpsing or whatever, just like a little bit. And if it covers, it's cute. That's cute on my little jacket. I love it. Super bling bling. I'm really into the thought of always getting, you know, a CC brooch is always, I guess, in the back of your mind if you collect. Um, but I'm really into just getting like, like super vintage Chanel like I've been looking online with like the pearls like just the, and all the gemstones like all the um, All the beautiful Baroque kind of art that inspired Coco Chanel to do um, Costume jewelry and that's how this kind of you know came along and I thought it was really cute Jen also has it we are twinning as huge so that was that little item. Let me tell you the price of this guy. It comes in at a good price. That's the other thing. The idea of spending $800 on a Chanel brooch, it hurts my soul, especially because that's like halfway to a bag. But this brooch came in at $365, which I feel like is, you know, for a kind of a staple brooch, it's a good price, really. It's a good price. Can I help? The what? Ikea tools. 
um, upstairs or in this bedroom. Okay, so next up is this little item and this was an online purchase that came with the Wrighton sneakers because I saw it come up back online and I definitely wanted to add another one of these and I will tell you the price in a second. It comes in this little box and really really oh my gosh it's child proof so it comes in this little box dust bag so cute and also twinning with Jenny Jenji I love card holders if you guys have mini bags Bye. Oh, did you get it? Yeah. Oh, are you going to build my IKEA drawer set? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. I was saying, if you have mini bags and invest in mini bags, I know they are just making a massive kind of uh, presence here in the luxury community. Um, card holders, little um, control tabs and care booklets. And then they have little um, card slips, which is nice. They are making a really big presence uh, in the Lux at the moment, but card holders are, I'm going to say, a great investment. I said it in my luxury must-haves with my uh, uh, Louis Vuitton one. I definitely knew I wanted to get a Gucci one. Um, I didn't know if I wanted to do a colour or just do black. I am really, really loving the Marmont black. I'm actually really considering to, <laughs> to add a Marmont, I said that in my vlog, in the black just because it's so gorgeous, it's so durable, so smooshy and puffy. This is the five card slot. One, two, three, four, five. The Louis Vuitton is only three. And it is canvas, so it is not leather. It is a lot stiffer, and um, I can get a lot of cards in it. Don't get me wrong, but it's really stiff. Like, getting them out in line is a little bit stiff. And I saw this come up. Again, a great price. Let me get that for you. So, 300 Gucci.com.au have complimentary free shipping. Um, to your doorstep or you, wherever that you want to ship to and this was 300 and it's a five card slot and it is full leather you have the beautiful little GG interlocking logo you have the chevron matelassé quilting and it is full leather as opposed to 300 from Louis Vuitton which is the canvas and it's five that's three so again Twinning with Jen on that as well, but really glad I got my hands on this guy. How are we doing? Moving along nicely. Okay, I showed these in my vlog as well, my last vlog. Uh, but these I wanted to show that I hauled. I picked these off, up, off. Where did I pick them up off? Farfetch? Maybe? Yes? I think I picked these up off Farfetch. Yeah, I did. I think so. These are the Givenchy Logo Street, again, street sneakers. So that's what I mean by the street sneaker. It's that kind of Stan Smith style. And these guys are so cool because they have no laces. So this, that kind of looks like a strap that you could take off. It's not. It's just a piece of elastic. And the logo is printed on top of it, if I can show you. So it's just a piece of elastic, you can see. And the logo is printed really nicely on top of it. At first I thought, oh, wow, it's just going to stretch out and break off, but it doesn't. They're so beautifully well made. And they've got gold foiling Givenchy Paris stamped there. And then all of the interior lining, can you see that? It's like really beautiful tan leather interior the only downside at the moment is that I'm having a lot of um, leather squeaking sounds when I walk so I'm gonna have to put some dubbin on the leather that's a trick you can do is dubbin your leather so it doesn't really squeak as you walk because it's leather lined and then a leather upper as well 
Glad I got my hands on those. I will link them below. I think they came in at, I want to say 800, 800 and something. I will link them in the uh, description box below. And lastly, in this bag, we have a story that goes with this. We have a story that goes with this. You're going to have to stick around and hear the story because I have to tell it to you. I had been calling and calling and calling Louis Vuitton Bondi Junction to uh, get to put in some repairs or the idea of repairs to issue them, to fill out the information and whatnot. I had not been getting any callbacks. The reason for that is because Louis Vuitton Australia have been go undergoing a massive change, especially in the Sydney headquarters and in the Maison, there's been a change of directors and whatnot. Pretty much everyone that I knew or essays that I had or relationships that I had or just people that I know in Bondi Junction, Louis Vuitton have gone. They have left the company. Serena, my essay that I've been using for many, many years and have told you about here so many times on YouTube, went on maternity leave. She has not yet returned. I don't know if she'll return that's to be decided I guess but everyone else that I had worked with including the manager of the boutique have left I did not recognize one face when I went in there even the manager I didn't know who they were I just went in there with my repairs no relationships so exactly like just walking in off the street and I said I have my repairs or I had some repairs to request so my repairs were the binder of my uh, PM agenda, which I mean is a hundred million years old and is pretty much very like damaged in itself. The glazing is really damaged. The binder has been pushed open and the pages don't hold in anymore. They whip out because the binder's out. You have to get the binder replaced. So I put that in for replacement. I think it was around $70 to replace. I put in the request form and said that's fine. I asked about my pochette Matisse body, like the strap, that it was really, really hard and did they know if that was a recall and can they give me a softer one, like exchange it for a softer one and he was like, no, um, that there's nothing wrong with it, it doesn't need repair and I said, okay, and he said, and we don't have any listings of recall on the pochette Matisse strap and I was like, no worries, I'm really, at this point, I'm like, I'm not in there to try and be like, no, 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 I, just, I don't care. Like, I'm like, okay, all right, don't worry, that's fine. But now, anyway, next was my Capucin BB. I showed you guys that the glazing had, uh, like, melted off on the top and it was pushing away and I needed to obviously take it in to get reglazed or whatnot. One of my subbies, I could not find the comment if you are out there, Hello, thank you so much. Please comment below. One of my subbies was like, Jerusha, double check, take it into the boutique because a period of Capucins have been like recalled or been lodged as um, melting glazing. Like all the glazing has melted in that collection. And I was like, no way, okay, cool. So I will tell them, you know, this might have been in the batch. So they take it out the back. I go and have a coffee and I was like, okay, they'll send it off for a pair. That's fantastic. And they came back out and said, your capucins is going to be taken away. And I was like, what? And they said, it's going to be taken away. This is inside the recall um, collection. And in fact, the glazing on these collections is melting off and we are going to take it. And I was like, okay. And they were like, you may choose another one. And I was like, what? And they said, yep, yeah, choose a replacement of, like, of the exact bag. And for a second, I was just kind of like, hang on, but you're just going to send it away to reglaze it. And they were like, no, it's because it's a recall issue, all of the glazing of the entire bag is melting off. And I was like, oh my God, okay, I get it. These are not cheap bags at all. This is the top end of Louis Vuitton. So I was like, okay, no worries, take the bag, do what you want. 
So he was like, these are, do you want to see the black with the silver hardware like you have here? And I was like, sure. The one that he had was kind of buckled in the front. So the rest of the ones he had, he had, he had a few with like lizard and stuff. And I was like, no, but the one he did have is, wow. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god. I was just like, you shouldn't see my face. I was just like, hang on, what? Wait, what? And he goes, we, there's no other option. We can give you a credit note for the bag. We can give you, yeah, we can give you a credit note and you can use that or we can exchange it. But the bag has to go. And he even showed me, like, he got this, like, he was like, do you want to look at this one? And I said, yes. So he picked it up and um, he, like, pulled it on the side like this. And he was showing me the glazing like that. And he was touching it. And it, this just feels like hard, hard, hard rubber. When you did that on mine and you pushed it, it was, like, sliding off like, like Play-Doh. It was just rubbing off. And it was crazy. He's like, we can't have that out there in the market. The whole bag needs to be redone. Like it needs to be gutted basically. And I was just like, oh my God. And it was happening so fast. The boutique was so full. I didn't know anyone. I felt like I was in a completely different country. And I was just kind of like, ah, ah, what? Well, uh, can I think about it? And he was like, sure, we can give you a credit note. It got recalled. They exchanged my black Capucins for another Capucins of my choice. And at the time, the black one that I had, that they had was like, I mean, this is just perfect. The black one that they had, had kind of like, um, like almost creasing in the front. Like it had pushed back. The Terillion leather had been like pushed back kind of thing. Like it wasn't puffy and full like so. This color officially is called Galette. That is the French word for it, the galette color, which they were telling me is pebble in French, galette, pebble, soft stone, like the stony color. Am I right, my French subbies? So it is galette, uh, which is, I would call it like a cool beige, and it's got gold hardware. I did love the black and I love the silver, but in the moment, it was just kind of like the one that they had, just, it was like, what was the point of getting one that wasn't, you know, perfect at the time. It's got the four feet on the bottom. So yes, this is what happened. And it all happened so, so quickly. There is the down inside. You have the back pocket and you have the crossbody strap. Exactly the same bag, you guys. If you've seen it, it's got the, the pop of color inside that was in the black was so gorgeous. And I really, really loved the black. I did, I enjoyed it so much. This is a chocolate brown down inside, you can see there. And um, I did really like the black with the silver. I found it super fresh. Not that, you know, I'm missing out on black bags in my life. Really interesting story. Did not see it coming, but wanted to show you nonetheless. And yeah, that is my collective luxury haul today. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I will leave all of the items linked below in the info box. You can tell me which your favorite item was. I'm gonna say, I am loving this brooch. This is definitely, you know, starting the brooch addiction. It just does a little something, you know, and this isn't even like a proper jacket. This is just kind of windbreaker throw over. Love it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you wish to do so, that would be so great, guys. I will see you in my next video. Take care. Peace.